So now here we are going to learn about rank I think by now you already understand rank which is nothing just this is something which we have been you know hearing in our academics right so how to rank number one rank number two etc so I believe you already understand what rank is we're gonna understand how we do this kind of ranking in Python using pandas so not only ranking I will be telling you I would also tell you what all are the methods of ranking so there are four four different ranking methods in pandas which we use starting from average mean max first and tens in fact five ranking method i'm sorry i said just four there are five ranking methods which we are gonna use in pandas right not only this after that i would also explain you how can you do the ranking by a group right and if you want you can also show the ranking in terms of percentile all right so let me take you to the jupyter notebook and let me try to help you understand how to do the ranking and uh, you know what are the benefits of it in the video somewhere i'll also tell you a very good use case of the rank in one of my video i have solved a problem statement which was asked in interview and i have solved that using rank function so i will also tell you somewhere in the video which which video you can watch on my channel to understand how effectively the rank can be used all right let me take you to the jupyter notebook now so here we, uh, we are here we are on the jupyter notebook and here i have already taken one rank i'm just going to remove that and i'm going to run this this right so here in the data frame you can see here i have the employees names and their salary now let's start with a very basic problem statement where we need to do the ranking basis on salary which means we simply want to rank that person who has highest salary as number one rank number one and the lowest one is rank number last whatever the rank it comes right so like there are 10 rows into here so the last ranking will be 10 now let's just quickly start that how can we do that so for that the column first first of all what we need to do is use the data frame name and then the column on which you want to find the ranking right so that column for me is salary now on that you simply need to use rank and that is it so here you got the rank now it is not helping you understand for which it is for which employee what ranking is so what you can do is in the data frame i'm going to create another column i would say default rank okay default rank and now here i'm going to print that data frame now it makes more sense now if you can see the 10th ranking is given to those to that person who has the highest salary and number one ranking is given to that person who has the lowest salary now this does not make sense but it's absolutely on you if you want to see it this way you can see it this way if you want to change it the other way you can do that also now our problem statement is we want to give ranking number one to that person who has the highest salary how can we do that for that here we're gonna say ascending just bear with me i just thought of auto completing it that's why it is taking a lot of time so here i'm going to say ascending equals to true let's do that oops sorry not true but false here i should have to do false right so now if you see it says the the person who has highest salary which is rohan is ranked number one right so this is how we do the ranking it's you see how simple is that now let me make a little bit of challenge let, let me put some bit of challenge into it okay all right so now you see here i just changed the i just put the same salary for next three persons let me see let, let me show you how the ranking gets changed for this thing right now if you see over here all right so here what we see for the people who have same salary right you see 47 47 5 5 4 3 5 4 7 5 4 3 5 all of these three persons are getting ranking number five why is that so let's understand that okay let's understand that why is that happening so now let's see this is this comes ranking number one this two three four five six right so this is the sixth person so what it does is starting from fourth till sixth all of these people have same salary so what it gonna do is to this person what is the ranking which you will be giving it will be ranking four it should be five it should be six so four 
plus 5 it becomes 9 9 plus 6 it becomes 15 15 and what is the number of people right 3 so 15 divided by 3 so it makes 5 so that's why you get the ranking 5 so default ranking method is average so that's why you are getting it this now this is a lot of confusion right let let me let me let me show you uh, now what if i want to see plain ranking irrespective whether the salary is same or not i want to do the simple ranking okay i want to still say for i still want to see four five six seven etc how do we do that so for that there the method we're gonna use that is called method equals to we need to use mean no not mean we need to use first okay so let's run this not def rank here i have to say first now you see over here what happens you see what happens here it gives you the plain ranking 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right it is very very simple now if you try to rationalize the first one default ranking what it did is here the plain ranking was 4 here it was 5 here it was 6 so it added all these three and it divided by 3 right so 4 5 9 9 6 15 15 divided by 3 is 5 so 5 ranking has been given to each of those person who had the same amount of salary so I, I i just hope that it was very clear to you now the other method which we have is next method i'm going to show you and that method is called mean okay so here like you can see here five is given to each of them but here if you see this is coming at the fourth position and this is coming at the sixth position it creates a lot of confusion how come it could have fifth ranking right so what is it that we can do over here right so for that so, uh, ideally it should be fourth rank right so how is the, is there any other solution so for that we use mean ranking right so in that what it does is let's see over here you see all of these three have ranking four why is that so so let's uh, let's understand so we are talking about these three observations right these three observations so in these three observation if you go by simple plain ranking what is the minimum ranking that you have yes you're right it is four so that's exactly what it does it takes the minimum ranking and it assigns the same ranking to all of those persons who have same value right you can see over here all of these three person have same value so it took the minimum ranking and it gave it to all of them but the next person who comes with different value it does not gives the ranking just next to this same ranking rather it gives the actual next ranking so for example if you talk about actual it should be four fifth sixth and the next one will become seven so you see despite of assigning four to each of these three person over here it is giving the ranking as seven right so this point you must note right this is this is how it does now what if i want to give the ranking six to all of these three people how can we do that the just opposite of what we did over here for that there is other method now by now i believe you might have already guessed that what is it that we can do so that is nothing but called max let's see how does the max works you see over here you got that right so you see six is assigned to each of these three persons right ranking six is given to each of these three persons so it's as simple as that now the last one which we are left with is dense ranking what exactly happens in dense ranking let's just see that that is the very interesting one and mostly that is what used dense ranking now you see over here it mostly works as the mean the method which we use over here mean method in the same fashion it works but in the mean what was happening you see 444 four, four, and the moment it changes it gives the ranking 7 means 4 5th and 6 and after that 7 comes in in simple ranking right so what it does is in mean it repeats the minimum ranking for all of those people who have same value but the moment it gets the next person with a different value, it assigns the actual next ranking. But in dense, it continues the same series. This is the this is the difference which you can observe over here. You see over here. 
here it says seven here it says fifth so here it is repeating the minimum ranking for each of those person and to the next person it is giving just immediate next ranking not these seven okay so i just hope that it is clear to you now the next problem statement which is group by right how can we do the group by right so for that what we're gonna do is first of all you need to understand what group by is so for that i need to make little bit of changes in the data so i'm just to make a relevant data set right so now here i have used here i am creating a department column as well now you see over here here i'm just going to create a department column as well how uh, so now if you see over here here the same department would have been repeated multiple times for example if you see analytics 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 now let me just quickly run this run you through this okay so now here we got that here we got the department as well now you see multiple entries for analytics what i want to do is i want to find the i want to rank the people in analytics department i want to rank the people in data science department i want to rank the people in risk department means in analytics you see there are three entries i want to rank the person who is getting maximum salary as number one in analytics so here i want to do the ranking by department how can we do that so let me try to help you understand so for that what we're gonna do is df dot group by and into that what is the column that we want to group on department right and what is the column that we want to use for ranking that is salary and then you simply say rank okay let's just see that oops it just gives an error data from object has no attribute group by because here there is a spelling error now you see over here this is the ranking which you are getting okay now let me just put it in a column df and here i'm going to say grouped ranking grouped rank now let's just see and let me just print a data frame over here what is happening okay now you see okay to make it look much better what i'm going to do is let me just sort this data sort values by department by department then it will be easy to understand okay now all the analytics people are over here you see all the analytics people are over here true right so in analytics there are three three entries so the person who is getting the most maximum salary has got the last ranking which is third now if you want to make that uh you, if, if you want to do that kind of adjustment you can do over here as well you just need to say ascending equals to false you see this and now you see in analytics the person who is getting the maximum amount of salary is ranked number one then two and then three right you got that same way in data science now you have one and two in hr there is one entry in risk you see these two people are ranked number one and number two so this is how you can do the ranking by group as well now if you want to show this ranking uh, in terms of percentage right how can you show that so to show that ranking i'm going to use that over here in mean or let me remove all of this so that it will be simple for you to understand okay i'm just going to remove all of this not to create a lot of confusion so here you got just one ranking okay default ranking and first ranking now if i want to show this ranking in terms of percentile how can we use that so for that all that you need to do is there is a parameter called pct and you just need to say true that is it now you see this is showing in terms of percentile this is 10th percentile 10th percentile 20th percentile 30th percentile 40th percentile and so on so it is showing that in terms of percentile so i just hope that rank was very easy for you to understand just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section now the time comes when i need to show you which video that you can watch to understand a very useful case for this rank how i solved a problem using 
ranking okay so let me take you to the channel and over here this video amazon campaign analysis interview question there are many other videos which uh, where i have used the ranking but the, here it was the problem statement was little tricky so that's something which we solved using rank so by the time when you are watching this video this video might have already been released okay so i will leave a link of this video in the description section just watch it this is this will be a little longer somewhere 10 12 minutes but watch it it's gonna worth all right and let me know into the comment section if you get any doubt if you get any question etc whatever it is and i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you very all the best